By now you may be wondering what's the point of all this standard reduction potential business. All right. Um, we've, at this point all we've seen is put together a half cell, calculate the voltage, seems to be the same thing that the table says. All right. The standard reduction potential values are quite beneficial to us. Oftentimes we want to know is a given situation spontaneous or not? Will it give us energy that we can use to do work? We know that when delta G, so Gibbs free energy, is less than zero, so when G is negative, a reaction is shown to be spontaneous. We've it's been shown by experiment that delta G naught, all right, so the standard Gibbs free energy is also equal to uh, negative NFE, where N is moles of electrons transferred in the reaction. F is the Faraday constant, which is 96,500 coulombs per mole. All right, so a coulomb is unit of charge. All right, and so this is charge on one mole of electrons, and E naught is the uh, standard cell potential. All right, so what we can deduce from this is that there's nothing in that equation. Um, that would, or we'll say that n can't be negative because n is moles. The Faraday constant is a constant and is not negative. Therefore, what we can draw from this is that the value of E naught, specifically the sign, is what can change the spontaneity of a reaction. So, if we have a situation where um, E naught is positive, okay, the negative that appears in the negative NFE side of the equation that's going to take care of the negative value of delta G. So when E naught is positive, delta G is negative. The reaction is spontaneous. When E naught is negative, negative times a negative is a positive, that's going to make delta G positive. When delta G is positive, we know that a reaction is not spontaneous. Okay, so what we can conclude from all of this is that when the standard cell potential is positive, we have a spontaneous reaction. Right? It's important to note from this also though that this says nothing about rate. This is just likelihood of occurring. doesn't say anything about how fast it occurs. How can we put this into use? Here's a sample reaction. Manganese 2 plus plus copper metal goes to manganese solid plus copper 2. Is this spontaneous? Will this happen on its own? What I need to do is split this into its constituent half reactions. So manganese 2 plus plus 2 electrons goes to manganese solid. Copper goes to copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons. The reduction and the oxidation as written. Okay, so the as written part comes from the equation. In the equation, we showed manganese going from 2 plus to 0. All right, so this is not, this has nothing about likelihood. This is given that exact scenario, the reduction and oxidation, uh, where as written in the equation. This means that I have to reverse the copper reaction, okay? Because in this case, it looks like the copper is oxidized. This will change the standard cell potential of copper to negative 0.34. When I compute the standard potential of the cell, negative 0.34 plus negative 1.18 gives me negative 1.52 volts. If I were to put this into our Gibbs equation, this is going to result in a positive value for delta G, which we know from our work in the energetics unit means the reaction is non-spontaneous. Alright, so as written, that reaction will not occur.